Hey folks, thanks for stopping by again to the Wolf Den. This is a little Jetty Wolf information that I'm going to pass on from, it's an update to an update. My last video here in the Wolf Den was all about, let's see, Ugly Stick Intercoastal Rods and Daiwa Aired Reels that I got from my customers. Let me clear the air on the on first thing. I had some comments on the last video about you want to try this reel or you ought to do this or you, this is the reel that I'm using or whatever. Fine and dandy. Comment away. I appreciate your comments. I like corresponding with everybody. Makes for a more active and personal experience on on my channel on any channel um, and what I was discussing is when I was talking about the Daiwa aired reels I do not want anybody to get confused 90% of all of my videos when I'm talking about tackle is tackle that I have purchased for my customers use okay let me just clear the air with that Unless it's something to do with a really high dollar reel, a specific rod for a specific type of fishing, like doing the wiki rod, the ultra, ultra, ultra light uh, micro jigging rod or something like that, or talking about the uh, Daiwa Ryogas. That's all the enthusiastic stuff that I'm doing. As, as I re refer to it as, as being a tackle enthusiast. In my opinion, really, it's about five steps ahead of or above some being a, a, a total tackle junkie because of the fact that you're honing in on a specific um, style and make and quality of tackle. So... Um, you know, I can try every reel I've known. I've, I've tried every reel. And just so you know, from here on out, no, I won't be using a lose or anything. I'm pretty much some Shimano and a lot of Daiwa. A lot of Daiwa for my customers, a lot of Daiwa for me. Okay. And I've I've done that because I have used all this over here and I have found that this works for me so far. <coughs> Excuse me. But the last video I was discussing along with those Daiwa aired baitcasters is this rod right here. This is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Intracoastal. Extremely popular design, extremely durable, utilitarian. If you took me bass fishing, I could be using this. If I went snook fishing, I could be using this. If I went just plugging the St. John's River, I can be using this. It's an all around reel, or I mean rod. Um, it's one that is extremely popular, the style of Ugly Stick in Northeast Florida around my area, I know for a fact. Um, a lot of people use these for inshore fishing. It's sort of a blend of uh, fiberglass, graphite. They call these double-built rods. They're really tough, but here's the deal. This is what I was discussing on the last video is that the intercoastals come with just plain old ugly stick type guides. You know, nothing fancy, just your do-all guide, okay? And what I was talking about is that there used to be, used to be, this exact same rod called the ugly stick light, L-I-T-E. And it seems to me that Ugly Stick builds this rod still 
but with these eyes and calls it intracoastal for Walmart. For Walmart, because that's the only place that you can find this rod at a, in a retail location. So, I did some hunting around. I did some talking to other people. I did a little bit of looking. And what did I find? There it is. The ugly stick light. The exact same rod. Exactly the same rod. But what makes the ugly stick light so fantastic? is those guides right there metal inserted guides okay i hope you can see that metal inserted guides these are super tough these may be or very similar to the guides they're putting on the gx2s which that's the only good thing about a gx2 in my mind only good thing um Here's the problem. You can get these. They're blue. <clears throat> the intercoastal versions through Walmart. I believe day in, day out if they have them in stock. The only ugly stick lights that you can buy anymore. Bass Pro. Any place that, hold, that carries the entire Shakespeare lineup. Um, UglyStick.com. The only ones in the bait casting versions like this that you can get anymore is some leftover six foot six ones. Because from what I gather, and it's been a year now or more, these these aren't being made anymore. These aren't being made. The in, the ugly stick light series of rods that was a absolute um, kind of go-to ugly stick. Durable, fantastic guides. Nice, if you're into cork, I'm not all that much into cork, but if you're into cork handles, very nice cork handle. Very comfortable real seat. Uh, they call them double built. Absolutely durable as all hell. And these used to come in all kinds of uh, versions. As far as the bait casters that I know of, and the spinners, I've got some spinning tackle that has, that has these type metal inserted guides. Um, seven foot six, seven foot, medium heavy, medium light, medium, different types of handles. Okay. Um, on those Daiwa Airs, I put ugly stick lights because I wanted them to have these guides. And they're medium heavies, and they have a different type of handle. Then I have these now, and they've got a longer handle, longer butt on them. So they're, they are available, and I found them on eBay. Somebody's hoarding these babies because they're, they're highly sought after, I believe. And Ugly Stick dropped the ball. Echo, echo, echo. Dropped the ball. And they're not making these anymore. I don't know if I'll be able to, in the, in, the, in the future, I don't know if I'll be able to wear this shirt with any pride. I really don't know. It, it, really, it really comes down to, what are you doing, Ugly Stick Shakespeare? What are you doing? They're taking their entire lineup and, and trying to steer people towards the GX2s. And I'll tell you, there is a huge difference between this rod and the GX2. I don't know if they're trying to just... See, let me give you a little history. Shakespeare, Berkeley, Penn... All those companies are all owned by one company. And I don't know if they're just wanting to build all these in the same factory. They're trying to streamline. Um, that's an insider thing. You'd have to have somebody that works on the inside tell you that. 
um, at least in the United States. Um, I mean, they build complete GX2 models that are, what look to me, bad to the bone over in England, but they're not going to bring them here. I don't understand that either. Why limit yourself? You know, why are you limiting yourself and why are you dropping such popular rod models? Well, they'd say, well, we're not dropping them because why? You can get this at a Walmart. Exact rods. This one, the light, found on eBay, has these guides. And those guides are bad to the bone. They're, I'm not going to say they're indestructible. But let me tell you, these guides are tough. These are ugly tough. These are ugly doing, just doing the job. All right. So that's a little bit of an update. Exact rods in every way. And two different guides. Easily found on Walmart.com. You have to look for them. They're available by some sellers that have hoarded them or something, you know, um, on eBay. And I know some of them are salesman samples. If you ever get a salesman sample right down here, be it a foam or cork butt, will have a little wavy line that's a brand in it. They brand it right there just so it's, it's known that it's a salesman sample. So I'm always experimenting. I'm always doing R&D. And here's another thing that I'm going to do R&D with. <coughs> Excuse me. You may have heard. I don't know. There's so, there's so much information out there, folks. And I know you cannot um, take it all in at one time. And that's where YouTube comes into play. Because there's so much information on YouTube because it's like having a news reporter all over the place. Okay. Well, I'm going to check this stuff out. This is Cast King Braid. I think this cost me, I don't know, $22 or something like that. Free shipping on eBay. This is that stuff. That everybody said, oh, that Chinese braid? Oh, that China braid. Well, I don't know how to say it, but I guess they're they're just getting a little bigger now, or they're they're getting out there and they have a, a normal name. I mean Cast King, I mean it's not, you know, um Gichigamu or something, uh, braid you know, or whatever. Um, this is from E. Poseidon. They're all over eBay. They're all over Amazon. You can go to castking.com and check out this line. When the word braid is used, it could mean braid spectra, microdyema. Yeah, a lot of it is um, poly, you know, something or other hydroid urethane ish or whatever. I mean, there's all these chemical compounds and different materials that braid can be made out of. Um, Berkeley tried it for a while. Um, they actually took some material that like threading that I know, I can't remember the name of it, but I mean, if you bought like a really heavy dude or Cordura, Cordura, it's a material they made duffel bags out of and stuff. And it was, um, really, a really tough material, kind of a new age canvas. Well, they mixed, uh, Spectra and Cordura to make Zilla braid. Oh, the toughest braid known to man and all this. Well, a lot of that stuff comes out and then all of a sudden, a lot of that stuff goes away. And you start seeing it on eBay, you know, at half price. But um, these people 
I don't know. One minute they say they're made out of this, the next minute they say they're made out of that, and I don't know what to believe or whatever, but I'm going to try it. I'll give a shout out to Matt Rhodes Fishing. He's a fellow Hooked Up Network member, I believe. And he's all about it. He's a bass fisherman. Seems to be predominantly a bass fisherman. And he's using this. And they even come out now, instead of a four-strand braid, they're coming out with an eight-strand braid. Well, so did Daiwa. Daiwa came out with stuff called Super 8 or something like that. And um, it's very... Not low price, but it's mid-range price compared to some serious high-end lines like Samurai Braid and stuff like that. I'm going to spool up on some of this and I'm going to let you know what I think of it. Um, this is 20 in green. And it's the 4 strands, not the 8 strand. And the whole big deal about this line is the fact that here's a thousand... 94 yards on here for like 23 bucks. Let's just take an experience you might have. You're going to go to your local sporting goods store and you're going to pick up a spool of 150 yards of suffix, let's say. And there's two grades of suffix. You'll pick it up and one will be $21 and the next spool will be $29 or Power Pro. You'll pick up uh, 150 yards of Power Pro or something like that. It'll be $19.99 and you pick up 500 yards and it'll be, you know, um, $32.99. Well, that's where these people are kind of coming in, okay? This is a braid or something made over in China, okay? 1,094 yards, free shipping on eBay for, I think, $22 or $23, okay? Matt is using it, and he loves it, okay? He's actually talking how they make a pure black line and how the black is working for him. So me and him had a little discussion, and I told him I'm going to try it, and I'll be back with you on, on, on how and what I thought of it. Because right now, on all my Ryogas, I got spooled up High Seas Grand Slam Braid. It doesn't make any noise. It casts. It's supple as hell. It, the knot strength is fantastic. And it's a big time spectra. You know, what we refer to as... Uh, your high dollar braid, I guess. You haven't seen a whole lot of trout fishing videos, have you? And you probably won't, okay? For the sheer fact that I learned the last two years that when I'm sitting on a spot, man, we're just having a good old time catching fish. My customers are happy. I'm happy. I'm doing the chicken dance. We're so happy. Everything's fantastic. Two days later, I go back to that same spot, and there's three or four boats there. So I can't really do any trout fishing on the water videos. And it's an unfortunate thing. So I'm going to pretty much limit my fishing videos to, okay, it's the end of the day. We're back at the boat ramp. So that's what I'm going to be doing from here on out is back at the boat ramp, end of the day. Here's what we did type video. Um, because there's only so many spots around here. And it truly is. There's only so many spots where the current's right at a certain time and the fish are laid up in there. Okay. And I, I'm, a bad thing for me is someone else's fun and leisure is my J-O-B. It's my, how I make a living. And when I got all these people that I'm showing these spots to, basically, in my videos, I can't rely on those spots and drive all the way there and get there and there's three boats sitting on it. You know, Dad always said, give away, uh, 
chicken, give away a goat, but don't ever give away the farm. So I'll be taking pictures and things like that, but I have to limit my video this time of year because I'm doing nothing but shooting myself in the foot, to tell you the truth. I'm getting over a home project right now where I'm taking my entire back of my house that's been totally revamped by I don't know how many people and we're wrecking it, tearing rooms off, re-shingling, re-roofing, all kinds of stuff to bring the house back to the way it was originally built. Getting rid of all the shoemaker projects that have been done to this house. So that's what I've been doing day in, day out. And we'll be doing again this, this morning till late this afternoon. It's going to rain probably tomorrow and we got to do some serious shingling on the back of the house right now. So me and my dad have been hard at that and I've been a bit preoccupied. And that's why you're seeing probably more photographs than you are video because video takes hours and hours and hours and hours worth of editing and things like that. So thanks. This has just been a little update and I'll see you on the water.